This will fix crazy silver premiums. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Well, things don't exactly look great right now for silver and gold, do they? I mean, it's been a tough week. Check it out. Silver, consistently down. Gold, yeah, it's doing the same thing. And on Friday, we got some sweet news from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. I'll tell you, BLS blew everybody out of the water with their report on Friday. It was incredible news. I mean, after losing 20 and a half million jobs in April, the expectation for May was, was uh, hmm, how can I say it? Bleak, maybe? <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Everybody thought May's unemployment was going to be in the toilet. I mean, the consensus was about 7.7 .7 million jobs we're going to be lost. And guess what? <laughs> we gained two and a half million jobs, according to the BLS. It, it, I don't know what to say. It's amazing, right? I mean, think about what we've gone through. And that report, it was so incredible. Shoot, the, the Dow gapped up immediately. I think at one point, it was over a thousand points up. I mean, that's just amazing right it closed at 800 plus it was it's just it, it, an incredible uh piece of news and uh you know i'm happy i really am i have friends that are suffering over job loss i want our economy fixed i want things to go right for a change but i'm not going to try to be a debbie downer here but i'm going to throw some realism on on this that headline is misleading. The whole, you know, two and a half million jobs, everything is awesome, V-shaped recovery, go Trump, all that, right? You, you, you gotta, you gotta really peel back the covers a bit to see what is going on and how it's going to affect us stackers. So really quickly, this whole thing with the labor statistics, the whole rise in jobs, it's a result of the government bailout, folks. It's like a, it's like a, a, a shot of adrenaline. Okay, the Payroll Protection Program, the PPP, is really at play here. Okay, th that, that is what we're seeing, the effects of the PPP on the economy. And if you're not really familiar with what that payroll protection program was all about. Let me just summarize it by saying that the government gave small businesses or actually some larger businesses too, some money. And it was a grant, not a loan, a grant. Here, take the money, stay open and don't lay off permanently your employees. If you do lay off your employees and don't hire them back that grant it becomes a loan and you're gonna have to pay it back so that was the deal but here's the kicker here's the big deal here they don't need to keep their employees once they hire them back that was the out okay in my opinion this was always the expected temporary play by em uh, employers they're gaming the system. That's the point. They see free money from the government, and they're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we'll hire them back. And they did hire them back in droves, actually. I mean, if you look at the real statistics, you'll realize that permanent job losses actually went up in May. Oh, one other thing, too, that uh, people are noticing now more, the latest word that I saw was that... Um, uh, <clears throat> There was a uh, misclassification error. <laughs> yeah, how convenient is that, right? It, it, I don't know. They they put that in the report. They actually in the fine print said, "Oh yeah, yeah, we had some some issues here. The results of that unemployment may be actually more like 
you know, 16% in May, not the 13% that was headlined. Still better than what was expected, I think, but wow. Let's just wait and see over the next month or two what they do with the May's unemployment figures. I think they're going to revise them. I think that number is going to go way, way up. I hope it doesn't. I really do. I want our economy to be healthy, but you know, we're playing too many funky games right now for it to really be healthy. It's a faux economy. It's based on debt and fiat currency. I've said that over and over again. And all the machinations from the Fed is not strengthening the real economy. I'm going to tell you right now the three things that I'm looking at that I believe is going to really fix these crazy silver premiums that we're dealing with. And the third one, the third one's going to be an epic move, in my opinion, that we haven't seen since World War II. So keep watching this video all the way to the end. You're not going to want to miss it. So here's the first thing that I think is coming. It's going to really fix premiums for us. I believe as our economy slowly opens up, we are going to have an overload of silver supply that's that's going to counteract the incredible demand that we're seeing for physical bullion. Yes, I've stopped buying the silver right now. I think people are actually holding back on some of their silver purchases because of those crazy premiums. That's the demand. But the supply has been hammered. Okay, I think we're going to let the summer doldrums go by. Let the mines and the refineries and the mints really start cranking up production of silver coins and gold too. And, and I think there's going to be a wave of new inventory. It's going to hit hard in the fall. That's what I think. It's going to take about the fall, you know, September, October time frame before you start to see those, those, um, uh, the, the supply really start cranking. And I think you stackers out there that are really upset about the premiums that are just pining for lower bullion costs. I think we're going to see that return to rational premiums. And, I, and you, I, I think you're going to be so much happier. Just, just hang in there. All right. That's my opinion. That's the first thing. Second thing, the second wave. <laughs> but I'm not talking about the medical kind of second wave. Yeah, that could happen too. But I'm banking on it not to be as severe from a medical standpoint. I think it's going to be less dramatic. I mean, we all freaked out, okay? We're all, you know, grabbing our, our you know, masks and, and, and doing the right thing with, you know, social distancing and so forth. But it, it, it got crazy, right? And it, it shut down all these businesses. It was horrible. It was, a, it was a slap in the face to our economy. And I don't think the second wave is going to be quite as dramatic. I don't think it's going to, you know, shut it down like it did uh, earlier this year. I think by the fall, the real results of our failed economy are going to kick in. That's the second wave that I am concerned about. And when that hits, I think gold is going to take off. And I think I have time, you know, to, you know, to, to, to wait a little bit before silver confirms that and takes off as well. I think silver potentially could, uh, percentage-wise, just blow past gold. But I think gold will lead again during that second wave. And I think the second wave of economic stimulus is going to occur. When that happens, businesses start to really fail. And guys, don't for one minute expect in an election year for the current administration and, and liberal Democrats to avoid the opportunity to dole out currency like crazy to everyone again. One more round of stimulus. Get Trump reelected, possibly. You know, socialists, you know, can get their agendas passed. And, and get this. <laughs> Nobel Prize winning <coughs> economist <coughs> Paul Krugman is worried that this, the, the, you know, the news about uh, the unemployment might keep more stimulus from happening. Ah! Heaven forbid we stop shoving more currency down everyone's throat, right? Yeah, I got to keep those printing presses going. Brr. <laughs> it's crazy.
crazy. But that's what he's concerned about, that we won't have more stimulus. Nah, we're going to have more stimulus. And here's the third thing that I think you really need to be watching for, that when it happens, this is the big one, guys. When this happens, I think premiums are going to go way down. Price of silver actually might go up a lot, <laughs> but I think that's going to... Uh, uh, result in a narrowing of the premium okay so right now you got the uh, cost of silver you know the spot prices you know doing this and dropping some but that premium just seems to be hanging tough i think as the spot price goes up that premium will eventually shrink and the whole thing is going to go up so you might end up having to pay more for your silver next year but you know i do think we're going to see that premium shrink dramatically. And here's the third thing that I think is going to do it. I think the Fed is going to put a cap on long-term interest rates. Yeah, I think that's coming. I think, they are, I think you know, they'll start with the short term first. But I think that 10-year bond, mm, they're going to cap that puppy. They're going to try to keep that thing tamed. They cannot have interest rates rise. And I think that is one of the tools that they're going to employ and I'm telling you they've 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 floated this idea before even before the recession last year they were talking about doing this putting a cap on long-term interest rates I mean it's not completely unprecedented too they they did it way back during World War II to to fund the war effort and I I think it's likely in fact they discussed it at the last Fed meeting, it's in the minutes. If and when that happens, the bond market is going to tank. It's toast. The bond market actually, that, that is the canary in the coal mine, folks. You, you should be watching that as an indicator of what's coming, not the stock market. The stock market moves much more independently on what really is going on with the economy. The bond market is, is I'm telling you, that is the signal. Gold and silver, they, they can easily rise at the same time the stock market is rising. This stuff can go up at the same time the stock market goes up. But when the bond market fails, stocks are going to crater. And I think stay cratered for a long time, potentially years. This is this is the big deal, folks. The bond market. And if they, oh man, if they cap long-term interest rates, that's just mm, that is asking for trouble, folks. So there's four things I want to leave you with. Rapid fire. Number one, you get time to stack. Really, be patient. Premiums are going to come down in my opinion. Two, consider some gold right now. Right now. You can get fractional gold. Fractional gold for three, four, maybe five percent premium over spot. Gold. All right. Number three, take some profits from the stock market. Don't be greedy. Don't. If you're greedy, you could get burned. And four, Work on your debt, people. Eliminate all revolving consumer debt and you know, try to just reduce your debt uh, vulnerability. So there you have it, folks. This is what I think is going to fix crazy premiums. And I hope it happens soon. Thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Check out my description below. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.